Hello everybody and welcome to FTL. This is Ichigo Senfold and I will be giving you a let's play of the Federation Cruiser, the ship you unlock after you beat the boss. And I'm going to leave the name as default, so join me as we bring the voyage of the Osprey into life. As you can tell, the Federation ship comes with a burst laser Mach 2, which fires three lasers. Also, it comes with this, an, an artillery beam. Beam that automatically fires one damage, beam that pierces all shields. So if they have like three shields, this beam will still pierce it. It's a really neat weapon. Now let's spread out my crew. Engine them. Shields, Mantis to weapons, and now we jump. And already we find a store, which is kind of awesome. Demand the surrender of their goods, they're gonna jump. So fire at their pilot. And, and they're gonna fire their laser. Delay them. I'm gonna send my engine to repair. And their laser is not gonna be able to get through, which will allow my weapons to take them out, putting my engine back in the shields. I'm gonna destroy their sh destroy their pilot again. So their FTL charge cannot get through. Then I'm going to destroy their shields. Actually, my artillery beam should uh, charge, be charged after this volley and it'll just take them out. I have no control over where this fires, so, yep. All I got for that was 16 scrap and an updated map. Which is pretty cool. Now I know where all the ships are, and now I know where I am going to be jumping. And I get more more stuff. Wow. Now I'm going to focus on trying to get some weapons, intervene and defend the outpost. This, this one has no shield, so this should be easy to destroy. But yeah, like I like I've been like I say, this this ship is an energy consumer. It will drain your reactor because you got a bunch of stuff to power, like like weapons and shields and the artillery beam. For every upgrade I do to this, it if it will just suck up power. Because this is powered by my reactor watch. Um, 30. I gotta add one to that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. And upgrade my shield one more time. So now I have two shields. I could have saved all that for the shop. But right now I'm pretty good. It's all three drone parts which I get 12 scrap for. I'm going to try and get to that distress beacon and do that before the the enemy reaches me. Explore the asteroid field. I get one more drone part. I, I doubt I'm going to be able to get to the distress beacon, so I might be facing the Federation. And I'm going to just attack. Since their weapons can't get through my two shields. And they're charging up their FTL. I'm going to destroy their pilot and I'm going to destroy them. Which is sad. I would really like to destroy these slavers so I can get another crew member. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks like I'm not going to be able to do that distress beacon, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to jump around around it to get to the exit so I can get more scrap and maybe upgrade my ship a little bit more. And more slavers. Awesome. This will... This greatly improves my odds of getting another... Another crew member. I'm going to attack their door system. Oh, look. And they, oh, and it's another Mantis. That's good. Now all I need is a teleporter, and I'll have a... I'll have a great boarding party. Attack the automatic sensor ship. Since they have weapons that can't even get through. I'm going to power down my med bay and power up my engines. Destroy their shields. Then destroy their pilot. I really hope I'm doing these Let's Plays very well. I'm ex trying to explain everything to you guys. I don't know if you guys like that or not, but, well, I do it anyways for people watching my, uh, watching my Let's Plays. Maybe they're first-time FTL players. Maybe they're veterans. I don't know. There's, there's still a lot to learn about this game. Ooh. And here we get a mercenary ship. I can delay the rebels for 11 scrap or not. Uh, they're mercenaries, so I'm just going to let's fight them. And you know what I like to do with mercenaries? Take out, especially this ship design, take out their oxygen and their engines. So they can't jump, especially since they can only fire a laser and stuff at me. So I, I, I'm golden here. And I'm going to shut down the artillery beam and just let this fight roll on. So, leave in the comments what uh, your favorite chip in FTL is to use. That would be really great so I know which um, ships to use in the future, maybe. Because I really don't know what you guys want me to play. I just chose the Federation ship because it's my, uh, this is my favorite ship to use. Because it's really, really fun to play with. And it's, uh, it's also a challenge and it's not a game breaker. You think after beating the final boss you would get a game breaking ship, but you don't. You get a, you get a fair playing ship. And I'm sort of wishing I, uh, I upgraded my sensor so I could know how, how much oxygen they have left in there. But yeah, this is going to be a long fight. I could easily just destroy these people, these guys, but, well, it's just, this way I get more scrap and I'll be able to upgrade more stuff or maybe, yeah, and they're powering up their FTL now. See, if I didn't destroy their engines, they would, they wouldn't be delayed, but they're now delayed. And I get 16 scrap for that. Pretty good. And I get more scrap for that. Ooh, and I have another NG. 
I'm going to swap out my weapon mantis for that. NG, and now all I need to do is save up my scrap for a teleporter in the next sector. Um, well, I'm going to jump to the rebel controlled sector just for um, just for the scrap and stuff, and then I'm going to jump to the next sector. And I'm attacking the automated sensor ship. I'm going to destroy their weapons because they have that missile. Which is going to fire. Shoot. I really hope it doesn't hit anything. And it just, it just hits a freaking um, empty room, which is great. But it still did two hull damage. So that tells me it's probably a hull, a hull missile. Now these AI ships repair their systems by themselves. They have no crew. So this is a real pain in the butt to do if you have a slow firing weapon like the burst laser and such. And I missed. So that means it's, that's telling me it sent power to its engines. And my Artemis laser destroys it. I mean my, um, my artillery. Sorry, not Artemis. It's not Artemis laser. Now I'm going to jump up here and try and get more scrap. And hopefully that store has a crew teleporter on it. I, I can buy. And it, this one's FTL is charging. So I'm just going to destroy its crew. Destroy its piloting. Hopefully. Uh oh. Well, it looks like it might be able to jump out. I'm gonna drain the oxygen from that room. Nope, I was able to delay it, luckily. And also, I am now gonna target its drone system. And it destroyed my Artemis laser. There we go. Now I'm going to destroy its weapon system. While I let my Mantis crew repair that. I'm going to send my shield engine to repair oxygen. And open up all the doors just to make sure I survive a little bit more and destroy that ship and oxygen is now returning I might not have enough for a crew teleporter let's see oh and no crew teleporter so I'm just going to repair all and buy all the fuel and long range scanners just because this would this is gonna help in the long run. And now I'm gonna go to ship and upgrade my sensors and my doors and put a bar of power in here. And now I'm gonna send my engine to the med bay to heal up. And my two mantises to the med bay. Now with level one oxygen, it really doesn't matter where, if you have your doors open or your doors closed, all that such and stuff. And I tried to, and I attempted to download this one's stores, and I failed. But luckily for me, it has no shields. So, hopefully I can destroy it before it fires a missile. Which was not, which was not lucky. And I'm going to send my mantises in here to help repair that real quick. 
but now that I've got its um, weapons down, I'll just take out its engines, which will be a KO, really. And I get 28 scrap, so I'm going to upgrade my Artemis. Actually, I'm going to add more power, then I'm going to upgrade my Artemis. I mean, my artillery. jump down here to this asteroid field since it's less of a danger than that um, uh, this is gonna be easy and it destroyed my oxygen bay but that's okay since I have an NG, multiple NGs, I can repair this. And I'm going to open up the doors so that room will not be flooded without oxygen. I'm going to send you two to the door room and throw these NGs into the med bay. Close all the doors. Now this one goes to shield and this one to weapons. I'm going to jump up to this distress beacon and see what's going on up here. Then I'm going to jump to the exit and that will be the end of this video. Lucky for me, the quest is down here. Which it has a ship in it so it's probably a trap. Yep. Which I figured it was. I should have upgraded my... Actually no, this one doesn't really matter. I could e I, I'm gonna easily destroy it and it's only got it can only bust one of my lasers one of my shields I mean before it can even do anything this is gonna be a fun fun fight folks oh, yep there we go now I can't dodge so now I'm gonna hit be hitting it all the time. Actually, I don't even know why I'm aiming for its weapons. Always aim for the shields. Yep. And now, fire at its oxygen bay. Let's see which one fires first. My artillery or my burst laser? And with my burst laser... I don't think they're going to be making it out here, folks. Let's see. Nope. And now I'm going to upgrade my artillery. And that's going to be it. And I'm going to jump down here and fight, the, fight this ship for its storage cache. I'm going to destroy its shields and I'm going to power up my artillery so it takes a lot less time. It takes almost about the same it doesn't take about the same time as my um, burst laser but it takes less time now which is really good. Now it can't dodge, it's firing its um, ion, destroying the sh I'm destroying its shield, and my artillery laser's about to fire, which completely destroys it. Lucky for me, investigate the station, and I get a drone. So I'm going to jump to the store actually. And 
then I am going to ooh a burst laser mark three requires only four power and it fires four, five shots which is always nice so I, have, I have the money for it so I'm gonna buy that repair my ship and I'm gonna be upgrading my weapon system in the next video to get that powered up let's see if I can actually do that yep I can power it up I can power this up two more times and I'll have the burst laser mark three so I'm gonna jump to the exit real quick see if anything happens here Reject that offer since I'm not using drones, and I'm going to jump to the next sector, sector, section. Sorry for that, folks. I got tongue tied. I am not a very good talker, as you can tell from my videos. And I am going to cut it off here. This has been Ichigo Sinful, and this has been the voyage of the. Let's see what my ship's name is. We got the the Osprey. The Osprey. So I will be seeing you next time on this voyage of the Osprey. Good luck, and always keep your airlock shut, folks.